Okay guys, this is Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be working on the weekly read for Capricorn for the week of October the 15th to the 23rd. What messages do we have for Capricorn for the week of October the 15th to the, to the 23rd? Capricorn, October the 15th to the 23rd. What do we have for Capricorn? October the 15th through the 23rd. Okay. One more. Okay, so at the beginning of the week, or today, I see, I was kind of like reading ahead, guys, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and I'm talking kind of low, guys, because my nephew's sleep, and I don't want to wake him, so I'm so, so sorry. But um, I know y'all used to me being, you know, like all over the place. All right, Capricorn. So for the first day, we got the star card for today. So this could be happy times, um, being very optimistic, being on the right path, um, making positive choices positive plans let's see what we pull for the star why is the star here and i know it's late guys i had a lot i had to do today so i got behind and i've been working all week so this is literally the only day i had to get this done Okay, so I see for some of you guys, you, some of you guys um, had some concerns to go away. Um, you had some things that have left your uh, mind, some worries, some stresses that left your mind. You got the Nine of Cups. And this could also be dealing with someone that you feel like is a true lover, or, um, basically the ultimate love for you. But in this situation, I believe that this is you, concerns fading away about a certain um, situation that you're going through or something. But there also can be some type of uh, feeling trapped either by your own thoughts or feeling trapped in the situation or the place that you're in right now. Okay, so Monday, we're looking at you ready to take a leap of faith. Um, maybe even some unexpected opportunities. So Monday, there may be an unexpected opportunity. Let's pull, pull for that. Why is a dreamer in Monday's position? What's going on with the dreamer? Okay, so someone may be offering love or love may be, you may be encountered with an offer of love. We got the Ace of Cups right there. So this could be um, love coming in, a new love starting, um, resurgence of old love, or maybe just the feeling of being in love. You know, Monday you may go out on a date or something and just, um, you know. It might be an ex returning because I see the Eight of Cups with the Seven of swords. So this could be um, someone from your trash, from someone from your past that you feel betrayed you returning. And they could be offering you a cup of love. Now by Tuesday I got the five of cups. So this could be um, crying over spilled milk, not seeing the positives of a situation, turning your back to a situation, um, things not turning out the way you'd hope. Why is this five of cups here? Because maybe you feel like taking this person back or being in this relationship or going back to the past with this person will be too much of a workload it may be too stressful for you so for some of you guys someone may be offering um love to you monday and tuesday you may be turning them down um due to whatever past hurts and regrets you have from being with them okay so Wednesday, we got the Six of Pentacles. This is like new career opportunities, um, paying off old debts. This could be giving too much in a situation or um, either paying out too many bills, something like that. Something dealing with giving more than what you have. Okay? This could also be gifts from someone. So let's pull and see what direction this card is taking us in. Okay, so maybe you're having to choose, maybe by the middle of the week or, yeah, by the middle of the week, there may be some, do, some bills due, um maybe time due. It could be even um, situations from your past that you're dealing with that you're having to answer to. And you're going to have to choose your battles wisely in regards to that. Maybe bills, you may have to choose which bill you want to pay this week because you may not have enough um, because you've been putting out so much money within your bills. Um, 
it could be choosing like which foundation or which job you want to go to because i see new career opportunities so it's like choosing your battles wisely maybe some of you guys are being offered some career opportunities and you're trying to figure out which way you should go thursday i got the world card so this is a job well done the path toward enlightenment being on the right path this is also a card of transitions or transformation so some of you guys may be transforming mentally i'm um, looking at things from a different perspective <laughs> got the world card clan find the world card so this could be um something coming to a close uh transformation to a new part of your life or a new phase in your life give me one more why is this world card here okay so this could definitely be looking at things from a different perspective i'll pull the hermit card and that's exactly what i heard earlier so it's just like you could be looking at things from a different perspective you could be seeing life differently now um and it may cause you friday to take some time to meditate so rethink things over um allow time before actually making the decision to move forward with something we got the four of swords um for friday let's pull why is this four of swords for friday what's going on with this four of swords Okay, so there is some time to, to, you need to rest. You need to rest before making a the decision. There's victory coming um, in regards to this decision, but there's a need for you to go inside, go inside yourself, go inside your own thoughts, do a little meditating, a little self-discovery before you actually make a move with something. Okay, so... Okay, so Saturday I got the King of Cups. And now the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords just fell along with the Justice card underneath. So this is telling me that you're weighing your options on whether or not you should open yourself up to some, to, and I believe this is stemming from the person or the situation from the beginning of the week, whether or not you should open your heart or open your, um, open yourself up to this person. But Friday and Saturday, I do think you rethinking things and you may try again come Saturday, I mean, Thursday and Friday, I do see you weighing your options, searching within, trying to see if maybe whether or not you should end this relationship or move forward. Um, but by Saturday, I think you might be um, trying to ask for some advice from someone, maybe a friend or something, to see if maybe or not you should take this person back. But I think ultimately you're going to leave this alone. Ultimately, you're going to reevaluate and it's going to be like... I just can't deal with it. And with that seven of swords, you're just going to walk away from the situation, leaving whatever baggage behind um, dealing with that. And you might be coming into your own. We got the two of, of wands right here. So this is you coming into your own. This is you finding balance. And it, by Sunday, I see you still needing balance, needing um, to compromise, maybe even wait for the perfect time for something to happen. Timing is everything, guys. It's everything. It's definitely... <laughs> Okay, so these four cards came out as clarification before I can even ask because this is definitely a message for you. There's a need for moderation, definitely a need for moderation. Okay, so I got the Tower card, the Emperor card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So what I get from this is <clears throat> something may happen suddenly. This situation may come about suddenly where this person or someone that you've been involved with is coming back this week. And it may like bring on some self realization like you feel like you you know you're worth more than what this person is offering they may be offering something to you but you're not seeing the positives you're not seeing you wanting to um get back with this person so by friday i do see you walking away even though this six this does mean victory this is like standing alone standing on your own two feet moving forward from a difficult situation so this is you moving forward and feeling proud of yourself for moving forward that's where this emperor comes in and these cards that just fell out is feeling pride in yourself and even though you're at a standstill you understand that your seeds have been set your seeds have been planted they're nurturing everything will work out you may feel like there could have been a missed opportunity but I think you see the truth of the situation. I think that um, even though there's a missed opportunity, you may not be seeing the positives. I, I really think that you're doing what's best for you in this situation. And I think that's where your need for balance, emotional balance, will come in Sunday. You'll realize really your worth in this whole situation. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some love cards. If I can get these up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is some sounds. I'm sorry. All right. So let's pull some love oracle cards. If I can find the love oracle cards. That upsets me. 
Hold on one second, guys. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. This is how bad this is sometimes. My mind be so expanded that the small things get past me sometimes. My car is right here on my leg. <laughs> All right, so let's pull. First, we're going to pull for Capricorn singles. What energies do we have for Capricorn singles for the week of October the 15th through the third through the 22nd? What energies? Okay. So for the singles, we got honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. This could be traveling with someone new. Um, this could be going to see someone, going to meet someone. This could even be a blind date. And I literally got keeping up in mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Just stay optimistic about your love life. That doesn't mean this person is you're meant to be with, but it does mean that this is someone that will teach you something or could possibly um, help you get to the path that you need to get on. So, you know. All right, so let's pull a card for Capricorn couples. What energy do we have for Capricorn? Okay, soulmate. It says this. This is your soulmate. Mm. So for some of you couples, the person that you're dealing with is a soulmate. Maybe calling in your soulmate. You're definitely dealing with a soulmate. I pulled two soulmate cards and reconciliation. So this is definitely someone from your past coming in. And even though you are not feeling them right now, you're not seeing... You're not seeing the positives of this. You're not seeing um, the good in this. You're ready. You're unhappy, ready to walk away. And you feel like you're just going to be stuck at a standstill with this person. This person could definitely well be your soulmate. So maybe, you know, you can open your energy a little bit to this person and try to hear their side of it or hear, you know, how they feel about it. However you do it, you know, just open up a little bit because I literally pulled soulmates and calling in your soulmate so this is definitely a soulmate relationship it doesn't necessarily have to be a soul like a twin flame or you know the person that you're destined to be with it could just be a life partner or it could be someone that's here to teach you something even those matter too they may not like it it may not feel good but those people matter in our lives as well so this is all oh, oh, no not all of that let's pull some oracle cards okay so let's pull some oracle cards for capricorn what messages, advice, or guidance can I give for Capricorn? October the 15th to the 22nd. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to use all of them because they fail. All of them. Okay. <laughs> so we got Medicine Woman. It says you are divine. You are a channel for divine healing power. When I get this, it's usually about health issues. So I don't know if you or someone else in your family is dealing with health issues health issues but be very mindful of your health within this week okay so um we got endings and beginnings it says the old must be released so that the new can enter this can be just as simple as it releasing old energy releasing negative energy from a situation so that it can be born again okay we got infinite supply it says your supply for your today and all of your tomorrows God and children in some kind of way this week you will have to be guiding children helping children using your skills to help children okay um, and seeing that it's somebody from your past, it could be like a past lover, a child's, you know, parent, something like that, ex-wife, ex-husband, any other source. We got inner wisdom. It says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. It says, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner and create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. So some of you guys are really needing to reconnect with on your spiritual side. Um, with your higher self so that you can follow your intuition when it comes to this. That's why you got that four of swords so you can meditate. Meditate. Get in tune with yourself so you know which way to go. Follow that intuition, guys. Okay, so this is all I got for my Capricorn for the week of October the 15th to the through the October the 15th through the 22nd. If you guys would like a personal reading, all of my prices are listed in the description below. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you guys um, would like to hit me up, you know, messages, all that stuff, you can hit me up on my email. My email address is www. No, 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 no. It's intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. Um, if you guys would like to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal. That link is paypal.me slash intimate wisdom all of that is in the description guys i say all this just to, so you can hear it but literally everything i'm telling you is in the description um thank you for all your support thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for all the readings that you purchased if you guys have gotten a reading from me before please feel free to put in the description box how i did so these people can know i'm legit um this is all i got for you so capricorn thank you for your continued support and y'all have a good night